Barry Webster, Martin Tustin, Alec Dick got together at one of their many sessions and eventually said, well, if we do a separate chassis, we maybe can use more than one part to a body shell and bolt it all together. That was revolutionary in that it was very, very old fashioned, but it seemed to work and that was why it was decided. So did a lot of the uh, uh, high speed running uh, on things like oil temperature, engine durability, handling, cooling. It was uh, an interesting little project. Yes, very elaborate it was. It's it got a couple of metal elastic uh, drive joints which, which, which took torque and it took plunge. Uh, and the whole suspension was changed around. Yeah, uh, David was um, <coughs> our expert on instruments. It was a labour of love, if, really, because um, in those days you, you had no computer graphics to fall back on. This film traces the history of these models from the Triumph Herald Origins through the Works Rally and Le Mans race car entries all the way to the last of the line Spitfire 1500s, which ultimately became the best-selling Spitfire of all.